Morning y'all. So this is Salt and Light with Jeremy in the morning.
Tali. Tali, come here. Kyla. Get the fire going. Hey. We're going to finish the garden soon outside. Back and start putting these plants in there. Oh boy. It's like a jungle in here. So, ladies and germs, just an update on our uh, beautiful um, garden out here. I want to show y'all a couple things. We now have our nice chicken wire fencing most of the way around. It goes all the way around and uh, this is going to be our gated entrance. I was able to take some metal and make this nice little uh, nice little topper here. But uh, yeah, so let me show you all inside. Watch out pup. Right now I still got some strings up and to keep everything aligned. I don't know if y'all can see it but there's a pink, pink string along the top. Got our uh, crates over here for our uh, compost. I'll show you all this. Oh, well, golf ball. <laughs> Working on my golf game. Um, the people before us, they had, uh, they love golf. So we've been finding uh, a lot of golf balls down in the, down in the holler. And uh, yeah, found a golf club. So I'm horrible at golf, by the way. Uh, I only hit the ball about a third of the time. The other time, I guess it's just practice swings. But no, here's our compost bin. I got, uh, I had everything in this one, and this was the only one I had built. Uh, it's just wood, you know, uh, landscaping timbers. You gotta love them things. Um, but yeah, and I had filled it up with, with dead stuff and some ashes and, uh, grass clippings and everything else. And uh, tree limbs. Hey, chickadee. And then, uh, yeah, it took about, you know, three months and just while trying to build everything else. So then I built this one. And uh, just did this yesterday. Built the, put the outer, outer pieces on. And uh, transferred everything over. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's like just a, that, that'll really go good in the garden. I guess I got to look at the pH level and everything like that uh, to see about, uh, you know, making sure that it's all going to be good. Never really, never really done anything like that, so this is going to be a first time. But, alright, so, yeah, I got our chicken wire up, you know. No one ever really told me how to do this chicken wire stuff, which is, uh, you know, you just kind of learn. Learn as you go. So, I've been uh, going by each post on the outside, and uh, I would take and put, uh, here, I'll show you all on the outside. All right. Now, as you'll see here, these are just small staples. The uh, reason I did small staples is, one, they're cheaper, you know, per staple. Uh, I can cover a larger area for a less amount of money and everything like that. It takes less time to put them in. It's a staple going, just whoosh, and right in it goes. Um, it's one-handed, so I ain't got to hold this back and try to staple or hammer a staple in everything like that while I'm out here by myself. Um, but yeah, I can put, you know, a whole bunch of staples in here, I think. Uh, and what I do is uh, they got this whole fence puller and everything like that that you can buy online or at Lowe's or places. And so, uh, well, what I did is I took a stick put it in the fence, pulled it, and uh, don't pull it too hard, but you just start pulling it a little bit, and you pop a couple staples in, go up about a foot, uh, 10, 10 to 12 inches, do it again, pop a couple staples in, about three or four, 
and you do that all the way to the top and then you start going back down to the middle of those sections pull it pop a couple staples in that evens out your fence and then uh, I'll take and uh, put something at the bottom of the fence down here to hold it down sometimes it's just my foot sometimes I have to use a stick and uh, and then I'll pull up on the top of the fence don't pull too hard but I'll pull up enough that it's going to stretch it out and it'll take out a bunch of the waves and wrinkles whatever's left but yeah it's worked really good so far um you know I'm not a perfectionist by any means I just like to get it good enough uh, I have to come back and I will need to uh, find find a way to put something at the bottom to keep out varmints uh, things things like that probably I'm thinking some nice stone or some uh, something like that whatever we have laying around and gotta be perfect just after work alright so I'm gonna get started on this and uh, yeah I just got one small row here to finish up and uh, yeah we should be good to go. Y'all come along for the ride. I want to show y'all something real quick. Uh, what you'll see here in the fence is uh, you'll see these little areas like right here. Let me see if I can get in here for you. So when whenever I pull this, I put my piece of wood here and I pull over. And then I put the staple here. What that does is one side of the staple is going to be in this little V area. That's going to keep this from coming back coming back on on it I mean I could staple it you know I could staple it across here but then it has all this area and this will slide on back so I just like to keep the tension as good as I can Let's go. Oh look, far off in the distance, it's a wild chicken. Oh my goodness. Let's get a closer look. Come here, chicky, chicky, chicky. I'm just kidding, y'all. By the way, this is a, uh, this is Pepper. Pepper, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Yep. Pepper's the one that uh, it's kind of like a family pet. Let's see. see. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get an interview. Pepper. Hi. What? Hey, Kyla, no. Hey, Pop. Okay. All right. You always like to be walked around, I know, but. Okay, 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 okay. No, Tolly. So, as you can see on my beautiful, beautiful wiring, that's loose. 
all this is loose loosey goosey so what we're going to do is we did here not this this is just for the chickens but we're going to do this put a brace piece up it's going to push the board out so we're going to push push it that way i've got a small piece of wood right here on the outside and we're going to put it between here and here push that on out level that up and should be good to go so guys while i'm putting this board in and everything and i'm going to do the same thing here and here on these two sides of the fences it's going to straighten up those posts but while i'm doing this construction work i've got to put up this camera so that i don't break it or else my wife will break my behind my face and probably every bone in my body so i'll see y'all in a little bit as long as nothing's damaged all right folks we have our brace pieces put up here here i had to put this one in because this post was starting to lean in so i had to push it out that's going to make all this wire in here nice and uh nice and firm so it's not going anywhere my wire here's all done brace piece here brace piece in this area so that leveled this up as you can see it's still bow legged it's all get out uh my wife is in the process right now of getting a uh, nice figuring out what kind of gate she wants for this and uh so that is her thing if she wants me to make one for this area cool if uh if we're gonna go buy one cool beans um but yeah and that when we put that gate in i'll probably put a piece across the top here something to pull this inward and that's gonna help us out there right now so we got the metal mesh on the bottom here and now we're putting this mesh on top i wish that they would have came with some kind of colored mesh about the same price you know or cheaper but you know something that's gonna pop out something that's gonna make the deer see this because i can barely see this right now if i'm over here and i'm a deer and i come running i'm gonna try to hop this thing and get right on in so i'm probably gonna take some yellow caution tape tied to it or something and uh or some streamer or something to you know have something flowing in the wind so that they know it's there but what i'm doing right now i've anchored it with staples along this here i'm probably going to put more in as i wrap that around and then i put some screws on each one of these posts about four of them one at the top two in the middle and one at the bottom and so now i'm going to take them i've kind of put it up there on the screws now i'm going to take it i'm going to pull it and pull it pull it pull it and that's going to since it's plastic it's going to pull it all out make it all nice and then i'm just going to keep on pulling my slack on further this way that's really going to be the end of it this stuff is really nice it's uh yeah we got there at the at the uh home and garden store uh and so yeah let's see how this all works out so far this is actually looking out pretty good chickens are liking it they got in there last night and they were all tearing into that box there in the back and then me and the wife had to go out here and chase them all out. We ended up throwing them over the fence here. It's only a little bit of a drop, so then they flutter on down and then go in the chicken house. It was kind of fun. Now I see them trying to get in there a lot more often. I think they just wanted us to pick them up. But uh, cool. I'll get y'all a get y'all a video on after this is all done. By the way, give us a thumbs up sometimes. You know, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you thumbs down this video, then holler at us. Let us know what we can do better. If you want to see something, you know, whatever. Yeah, that way, we're always learning, you know. So, give us a holler, give us a shout out. Y'all have a good day.